Hi there. In this tutorial I'm just going to quickly show you how to make a repeating textured pattern in Photoshop. The process is pretty easy, pretty easy to follow. And uh, yeah, let's get to it. Alright, so first off we're just going to grab our square selection tool and then we're just going to hold shift to combine it to a square and we're just going to draw out a little square like so and select a piece of paper. Now I'm going to zoom in and we're just going to check the area for repeating elements which could make the pattern look obvious. And obviously we've got a bit of a dot here and here and we've got this line going up here. So we're just going to come over and we're going to grab our spot healing tool and we'll just draw over those marks there and it should do its best job to fix it up. Just try and get rid of anything that's going to look obvious when the pattern repeats. Obviously the trick to this is you want it to look like a single sheet of paper, you don't want it to look like a whole bunch of squares that are stuck together because that gives away the entire illusion of it. Alright, so that looks pretty good. So now with this uh, little square paper still selected we're going to just come up to our filter menu here and we're just going to come down to the pattern maker. And I'll bring up this one here. Now it's going to show our little square that we got selected and we're just going to come over to the side here and hit generate. And as you can see it's filled up the entire page with this little square pattern here which is still that selected area which we've, which we've selected. Um, it does do some processing to the edges which allows it to be able to repeat but you can kind of see vague marks on the pattern which make it look repeating. So we're just going to generate again until we find one that doesn't look too obvious. Uh, that one there is pretty good. So we're just going to hit OK. Cool, so now it's gone and filled up the entire page with that selection. Alright, so from here we're going to define the selection as a pattern. Now that little square is still going to be the repeating pattern which has been thrown all over this page. So we can use this one here to define our pattern preset. So we're just going to come to edit here and we're going to go define pattern. And I'm just going to call that paper. And we'll just select that. And we can test that by going control new, control n sorry, and I'll bring up a new document. Um, I'll just bring up an A6 piece of paper, that should do. And we'll just come over to our pattern stamp, come at the top here and select our new pattern and we can draw it in like so. Easy as that. Alright, so we might want to use this pattern as a background on a website. Now to do that, the most efficient way to do that would be to grab that initial square which we use and, um, and repeat that across a background using CSS uh, background rules. Um, what we don't want to do is make a huge document and just slap it in the background, that's just silly. You're just going to make a website that takes wherever to load. So what we're going to do is just grab that initial small square and we can use that to repeat across the background on a web page. So to do this we want to know the initial size of that pattern. Um, when you use a pattern step, it usually aligns the first square to the corner of the document. But um, instead of cropping this down, we'll just go ahead and do something simpler. So what we're going to do is we're going to drop this little pattern selection down. We're just going to hover over our pattern that we just made, and that should bring up a little tooltip. And in there, it gives you the size of the, of the pattern, which in this case is 376 by 376 pixels. So using that size, we can just create a new document. And we'll just put in our two sizes there and there and just keep the resolution to whatever the resolution of the original document was. Um, in this case it should just be 72 dpi and we'll just hit OK. And again using our pattern stamp we can just draw in that pattern like so and there you have it. You can now use this square, save it off as a JPEG, PNG, whatever you want and you can use that as a repeating background on your website. Easy as that. So there you have it, a final product. Um, if you found this tutorial helpful, feel free to hit the like button, that always helps. And uh, also subscribe if you want to see more. I do plan on making a lot more of these. And uh, yeah, have a nice day.